people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very strange FNAF news video. I'm sure you can already tell from not only the title, but also the thumbnail. We have some wacky topics to talk about today. That's right, FNAF's becoming real, baby. It took so many memes, it took so many minutes, way more than 52 minutes, but it's finally becoming real. So we're going to talk about that and so much more in today's video. If you're excited about FNAF news and also FNAF becoming real, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time. And subscribing to this channel is the best way to guarantee that you stay up to date with what's going on in the FNAF series. So without further ado, let's kick this video off by talking about Pop Goes Arcade. I briefly touched upon this in a previous video talking about the brand new gameplay of FNAF Plus, which hey, if you missed that, it'll be link down below. But Pop Goes Arcade, a official fan game in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, finally got a Steam page. On your screen right now, you can see some of the brand new features with the release of the Steam page. Right now, it has a planned release date of early July. The game's going to cost $4.99, but it will be $3.99 for a brief period during the launch. There's over 30 achievements. It's going to be a part of the official FNAF franchise on Steam. And there's also going to be a soundtrack for the game that you can purchase on the page. Hey, and also, if you want to win a free copy of Pop Goes Arcade, I'm hosting a giveaway on my Twitter. So if you're interested, just go over to my Twitter, you know, fill out the steps. Pretty easy steps, actually, for a giveaway. Thanks to Click Team, also, we're giving away 20 copies instead of 10, and the first 10 winners are going to be announced tomorrow. So again, get on that. I did promise to do a video going over all the new features revealed in some promotional GIFs and images and videos that Kane and Click Team have been releasing, and also a whole bunch of content revealed on the Steam page itself, so stay tuned for that video coming out pretty soon. Speaking of the fanverse, we got our first glimpse at the Ignited Freddy U2's figure. This bad boy was teased in a TikTok video on the official U2's page. We can't see the entire figure, but we do get a pretty good look at it on its box. Which, yes, this does confirm that Flumpty from One Night at Flumpty's has been cut from the fanverse wave of figures from U2's. So that means the only figures we're getting from the fanverse wave are this Ignited Freddy figure, Candy the Cat, and also Pop Goes, who you can see a quick glimpse of in the picture of Ignited Freddy. Pop Goes' box is just above Freddy's. You can't quite make it out, but you can see a bit of his arm and his vest. Very exciting. These boys are planned to drop sometime later this year. So what are your thoughts about the Ignited United Freddy figure. Are you sad that Flumpty's got dropped? What are you hoping Pop Goes and Candy look like? Sticking with some merchandise, we got a brand new FNAF board game by Funko. As you can see, the new board game is called the Night of Frights game, and some very interesting <laughs> uh, artworks and figures of the FNAF 1 crew. Interestingly enough, it looks like Foxy on the cover of the box is in his fixed state. He has no rips in his fur, he's got his hand, I, it's, it's weird, okay? Freddy's head is floating, Bonnie and Chica are traced artwork, like what, what is going on? But this is the back of the box, it says you're the stars of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Freddy and his band are friendly by day, but a fright at night. Play as one of the terrifying animatronic characters, and use your unique power to gain the upper hand. Creep through the restaurant gathering items, make yourself scarier, and get to the security office. The first player to capture the guard wins. So it looks like you can play as Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. You go around the board trying to collect various items, and then whoever gets to the security office first is the winner. This game was leaked a couple months ago, I want to say. There's no release date for it just yet, but because we do have a picture of the box itself, I'm guessing it's pretty close to being released. Next up, we have the Hex. FNAF plushies officially being restocked on the website. The original FNAF 1 crew, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, they all sold out super, super quick. But thankfully, they have been restocked, so if you want to go check them out, maybe you missed them on the first launch, they're up in the store right now. As well as the brand new Fredbear and Spring Bonnie plushies, they're also up in the store. Everyone's up in the store, so if you're interested in getting the Hex FNAF plushies, there you go, I'll leave the store link down below. Next up, we have some official FNAF AR calendars that got revealed. These are for the next year of 2023, and they feature a whole bunch of various FNAF AR characters and skins, most of which actually have brand new renders of the characters, which is very exciting. You got a whole bunch of characters like Plush Trap, Shamrock Freddy, Easter Bonnie, Mango Springtrap, Firework Freddy, Flamethrower Bear Endo, Balloon Boy, Jacko Chica, Ballora, Toy Freddy, Broiler Baby, Clown 
and Springtrap, just the whole FNAF AR crew, it's insane. It looks like these are available for purchase uh, right now, actually, though we are pretty far away from 2023, so maybe hold back or, I don't know, if you want to <laughs> prep yourself early, there you go. Next up on our list of FNAF news, we have a brand new shirt exclusive to Hot Topic, and it features the Freddy Fazbear Mega Pizza Plex logo. It honestly looks fantastic. I always love when they rip official merchandise from the games and make it into real products. I've already ordered mine. Sadly, it hasn't come in yet in time for this video, but hopefully it looks good because all the other shirts we've gotten so far uh, recently exclusive to Hot Topic have been awesome. So I really do hope we can keep getting more. And speaking of more products, Products. Steel Wolf Studios actually launched a whole new store on their official website to celebrate Pride Month. And it's amazing too because all of the net proceeds go directly into LGBTQ plus charities. You got a whole bunch of stuff on the store like shirts as well as a adorable little plushie of the Steel Wolf sheep. Here he is! He's so cute. He's so fluffy. Oh my god. He's so adorable. Look at his little face. <laughs> you got mouse pads and bags, just a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're curious uh, about some official Steel Wool products and also want to help out, you know, some LGBTQ uh, plus charities during Pride Month, please go check it out. It's absolutely insane for Steel Wool to do something like this, you know, especially with, again, all the net proceeds going directly to charities. And finally, we move on to the big news story of not only the day, not only the month, Maybe not even the year, maybe the entire history of FNAF. This is crazy. We joked, you know, we said, oh, FNAF's gonna be real in 52 minutes. You know, Freddy Fazbear's on his way to your location. There's a FNAF a <laughs> ARG. Maybe that joke's going a bit too far. But FNAF's becoming real. I'm not even joking. They're launching a pizza delivery service officially branded as FNAF. So what exactly is going on? What does this all mean? Because it's pretty easy to say they're making a pizza delivery service that's FNAF themed and then just not really explain it. So the people over at VDC, also known as the Virtual Dining Concepts, you know, the people behind the Mr. Beast Burger. Yeah, so on their store, they just had this going. You can see frickin' like that's Freddy. That's Freddy! So people were looking at this and they're like, what the hey is going on? So you go to the page for, you know, the official Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Delivery, and this is what it says. Add Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Delivery to your existing restaurant's kitchen today. So to quickly explain what this exactly means, if you don't know, Mr. Beast Burger and all the other brands that VDC works with, they operate through ghost kitchens. So they make the food in a kitchen of a already existing, you know, restaurant establishment, and then they deliver it through the means of the Mr. Beast Burger marketing and promotion and, you know, official delivery people. I'm probably explaining this very poorly, but hopefully you get the idea. So it's not an official, real Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Pizzeria or establishment. It's just branded as Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, but it's made in, I don't know, like a pizza hut or something. <laughs> Continuing on, with the concept spawned from runaway hit indie game series FNAF, VDC has partnered with creative founder Scott Cawthon to make the first ever fictional video game setting into a real life delivery restaurant. They go on to promote FNAF a bit, saying how popular it is, and then they say, best of all, the easy to execute menu features craveable pizza rolls with a unique twist and game tie-ins that new and current fans will want to order over and over again. So once again, looking at the Mr. Beast Burger as an example, you can see you got the Crest style. You got Carl's Grilled Cheese, the Chandler and Beast style. So with the FNAF food, it'll be like, you know, Fazbear's Pizza or Chica's Tater Tots or something like that. It'll be food, but again, it'll be themed to FNAF. So as you can see right now, they have a page set up you know, it's official, it's real, this is going to happen, it's just a matter of when restaurants actually take into account making a Freddy Fazbear's pizza delivery service. So it may take a little bit for this to get off the ground, it may take a bit for restaurants to actually incorporate, again, the, the official FNAF pizza delivery service, but this will happen, it's real, FNAF is real. It's just absolutely insane, like who would have freaking thought? Pretty soon, I can go on my phone, I can I can ring up Freddy Fazbear himself, I can say, hey, I want to, you know, I want a cheese pizza. I want a Freddy Fazbear's pizza. It's just absolutely insane, and you bet, you bet, oh, you better subscribe, because you bet, once this releases, I will be ordering every single item on that FNAF menu and making a video on it. It's going to be insane. But that's going to do it for all the FNAF news, a whole bunch of wacky stuff, including 
FNAF becoming real, like who would have thought? Thank you so much for watching, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more FNAF news coming in the future, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.